Uh, like I said, there, there's a lot of just basic loot you can get by going through the town, but it takes a long time to do that. And uh, I don't feel impelled to do that. Impelled? No, compelled. Impelled? The hell am I talking about? Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and I've got some great news. Those blocks that we found in the last episode are indeed the ones we need for this uh, building. Regular stone block is what our, our house is made out of. That is just amazing news. Uh, so we're going to want to make a bunch more of these. We'll start off the episode here by... Uh, good, and it just requires stone, too. Uh, doing some more work on the house, then we're going to go after the almanac uh, later on in the episode. That is the plan, Stan. Let's get ourselves some stone. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll split this stack in half and make as many blocks as we can with that amount of stone. That's a lot of blocks. Very cool. All right. So first thing we're going to do is um, let's let's replace this floor in here with these blocks. Um, oh, you know what, though? Hmm. That, I think th those... Well, yeah, I don't think I want to actually use these now that I think about it, because it's still going to have that dirt look to it. But let's just check it out, just to make sure that I'm possibly mistaken on that. Alright, so grab this... Let's go to foundation block, put that in, remove it. Yeah, I'm afraid that this is going to be... Oh, it's not. All right. It isn't this yucky dirt look. All right, perfect. That's exactly what we want to do then. All right, so let's... um. Go back to the foundation block, put it in, take it out, change it to U. That's amazing. All right. Put you in, take you out. Put you in, take you out. Nope. That's a little too far over. I think we want it right there. Just remove. Here, let's switch. Oh, okay. No, don't be. Damn it. Damn it. All right, that's fine. We'll we'll fix it. The snapping is just really weird over on this side. So let's remove it. Um, and put it right there. And we'll go to two meter and to you and just fix that. It, is this the same block? Maybe it isn't. Because why does it why does it look differently there? I mean, I like it. I think it looks fine. It's just different. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go to here. No, I don't want the floor removed. I want the wall removed. And then if we go back to here.
Yeah, you know what? I think this is a different block. And I actually like it better, I think. Um, okay, can I go to here and grab you and stick you in there? You're going to be a pain in my ass, aren't you? Nope. Nope. Well, close enough. Okay, well, um, yeah, this is not exactly the same block after all. But I actually like it better because, you know, even though this floor looks pretty rough and scarred up, at least it doesn't have, like, dirt and roots growing out of it. So it's still fine, I think, for an interior situation. And what I think we'll do here, then, is... Um, since I kind of messed this part up... It, it, we basically make it kind of looks almost like a Wayne's coating kind of thing here. Um, so I'm going to have to do this. To fix that. Okay. I like it. I like it very, very much so. Um, let's also do the same thing here. And we'll replace this floor. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I, I do kind of like the little border look of some of that. Okay, let's go back to two meter and go here. Uh, no. Let's go there and there. Uh, so that kind of screwed up the threshold. So why don't we just go back to here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, that works. I think that works. Now, um, let's remove these dirt blocks um, and make, make it so it matches that side of the wall. So we want to go back to two meter. Uh, no, sorry. One meter, this removal block. And we want to go up one more, too, just so we match the height of, of this side. Well, and this side, for that matter. So let's just do single blocks here. There. There we go. All right. And then we'll go down to two meters. We'll grab these guys. Huh. 
Good. I like it. I like it a lot better. Okay. Um, I'm not necessarily going to... I still like this block, too, you know, once we do come across it. So I'm not necessarily going to change that, and I might even set this back to the original block once we come across those. But for now, uh, at least it's symmetrical, and I think it looks pretty good. So let's do the same thing in here, too. We'll replace these bone blocks. And uh, we're going to want to go to here. Um, can I get, yeah, there we go. And then same thing here. I just want to make sure we're hitting the, only the bottom portion of it. Uh, looks like we might have some. Still have some ruined blocks in here. Uh, I'm trying to get it to go up though. And it doesn't want to do that. Hmm. Well, let's just leave it alone because it you know it might might not be an issue. We could also replace some of these bone blocks here. I, I do like the look at that stone, though. I just don't like the bones and the kind of, you know, jank part there. But all right, well, let's get the let's finish fixing the wall. So we go back to you and we want. Uh, yep, I want to go there and. there and then turn this let's get the uh, the top piece in first and then the bottom piece that looks a little bit better let's go check it um yeah we should probably fix those as well make sure it looks okay on the outside here yeah there's I didn't quite line that part up so all we have to do here is just fill these in. Uh, oh, wrong block, sorry. Did that screw something up there? Yeah, it did. That looks great. Okay. Now, if we come along here and go back to two meter, I think there. Say we might have to go back to the one meter to get behind the table here. That looks good. Now, if we go back to two meter, grab this guy and turn it this way. there and I guess we'll just have to fill those in with the single blocks which we can do uh, what the hell's going on there oh it's into the windowsill that's why there 
I don't like the grass glow, uh, growing in the windowsill, though. Not a fan of that. Somebody was saying if you use the terrain block, you can clear that out. Let's see if that's true. Ah. No, well, no, it cleared the whole damn block. Hmm. Here, let's pick this up. Those, that was the terrain block. Now, if we just build it up, this is not going to be the right block, but it's going to hardly be noticeable, I think, from what it was before. Okay, well, that's definitely an improvement. Um, what if we left the floor with, you know, the crypt blocks, but we... Yeah, that's just coming back in in the way that it was before because it's I think it's because it's bordering on the bone block there what if we no what if we tried to replace the border of this I don't think I can get rid of the this rubble stuff until we do something down below. Well, except for the rubble, I, I like that look. Could we... I don't think this is going to work, but let's try it. It did. Nice. Okay, got rid of the bones. Look at that. That's quite the improvement. Um, What is this business, though? Is that coming from down below? Probably. All right, let's try something here. I'm just going to put that there as a marker. Mm, can we get down there from here? Here, let's... Uh... No, I, got, I still have to clear all that stuff out of there. Yeah, so it's, it's it's all this crap down here that's causing that problem. Um, so if we... Just clear some of this out. Nope. I need to be down... Trying to get, you know, to the right angle here. That might have been what we were after. I mean, I can fix it again from up above. It's just interesting... You know, trying to figure out how all this works in the game. for Especially for, you know, working with existing structures. And I, and in a good way. It's, it's just cool to see how it all kind of works and comes together. Uh, that doesn't need to be there at all, I don't think. All right, yeah, no, that was just part of the border of the existing block. So those are fine. 
All right. I think. Yeah, let's get those out of there too. All right, now we'll go back to here and we'll. Yeah, it's just a, uh, maybe the same blocks. I don't know. All right, let's get there, do the rest from up above again. Is that oh this is the wrong yeah I'm using the wrong block we need to go to the bone block for that part right so that's going to be the weathered stone block. Okay. We could probably just do this, actually. Go to two meter, go here. I'm a noob. I didn't switch to it. Going, what the hell, man? Why isn't that working? How's that, huh? <laughs> All right. That cleaned things up nice and neatly. Um, except for. Yeah, we still need to do a little bit more work right here. That stupid camera angle. There. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is still isn't the same block as this, but we'll eventually come across it. Um, it looked so similar when I first set it down that I thought we'd, we'd done that. Um, so we'll also, you know, replace the porch out here with this. We'll probably use this new block just because I do like the look of it, you know, as, as a floor block. And there you go. All right, so we made some more improvements on the house. I'm going to put stuff away, sleep, and uh, then in the morning, I'll meet you guys on the way to getting the almanac. Okay, it's morning. Um, we actually ha should have some leather in here now. We have 20 pieces. Good. And we wanted to finish making our... A magician set so we still need the hands and the boots so the hands will do 7% damage against magical foals and then just 5% damage on top of that so 12 more damage versus um, we are stronger together 7% damage against magical foes and just 6 wand damage. But the other one, the other one will be just all, all any damage, which will include wand damage. Um, this is a level 18. This is a level 18. So we're going to sacrifice... Uh, one point of wand damage, but we're going to gain just 
the 5% magic damage across the board. Which, of course, will make our staff a little stronger. So, yeah, I think that's probably worth doing. And then for the boots, this is all about mana ger generation and less delay to recharge mana compared to just 2% mana generation. Yeah, so that's a no-brainer. We want to make the boots for sure. Um, what do you guys tell me in the comments that you use some of the healer set too? So the healing chest would do, be 72 healing and 36 mana compared to um, 90 health and 72 mana. Yeah, no, I don't agree with that. Uh, at least not for me and my playstyle in this build. I think this is the better chest for me to use. Um, and then I think you said you also used maybe the pants. I don't remember exactly, but these pants would be 27 mana and revive heal, which is completely useless to us in single player. Um, so that alone makes these pants not even close to as good as these pants. Um, all right. So, yeah, I think we're going to make the hands and the boots here. Um, so let's pin this one. It looks like they use the exact same ingredients. They just have them in a different order for some weird reason. Um, okay, so grab the linen. In fact, we should, we should get some more linen cooking up. Uh, let's at least grab a stack of flax. I have a little bit out in the garden too. Okay, and we need some torn cloth, and we need some mint mushroom. Whoops. Did I... No. Open that. Grab that. There we go. Okay. Boots. Hands. Stay focused. There we go. All right, so now we have the full magician set. Very cool looking. Very cool looking indeed. Where's the spindle? It's back here in the corner. Get some more linen cooking up there. All right, you can't. Can you make us a better glider? Uh, extraordinary advanced. What are we wearing right now? We're wearing the. Level 10 Advanced Glider. So you can make us the Extraordinary. And I think I have all of that stuff. Okay, so we need some Shroud Wood. And four Alchemical Base. All right, let's upgrade our glider. Anything else? Huzzah! Very nice. Um, I can't think of any reason in the world why we need to keep this, so we're going to delete it. I sure wish we could break that stuff down and get stuff back from it, though, but the yeah, game doesn't work that way. Um, all right, let's see. We already have our, our bronze tools, so we're good to go there. Um, those are just the grappling hook anchors. We don't care about one-handed weapons or the sets. Black cauldron, masonry tools, kettle. Okay. Uh, what about you? Can you make us a better backpack? You can make us a large backpack. Hell yeah. Glad we checked. Equip. Look at that. Added another row. Beautiful. Can't think of any reason in the world why we would need this. We're going to delete it. Uh, really, probably the same... Definitely on this stuff, too. We just don't need to keep it. No reason to. Because even when you die, you, you don't lose any of your armor. So it's not like we would need backup pieces. Okay, so we'll put you, you, and you in there. Mint mushroom can go here. And wood can go in there. All right, I think we're ready to set out. 
Uh, let's take a look at the map. We need to go... Um, Book of Ceremony Hill. Flame, here, actually, let's go Almanac. Make that the active quest. Right, okay, so I don't think we can get there from this ancient spire. Rumors of the Dragon Cave. Why? What? Why is that still a thing? Why does this still say in need of a tanning station? We just got the tanning station. Is that something different? It must be, because this is where we got the tan tanning station from. I don't know. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this shrine, and then we're going to just work our way south, because we got to get over to here. And I'm just going to leave that there for now because it's the furthest east that we can currently go for when we the time comes for us to go into the Kendallways. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know why that's still there unless, again, the thing is, though, is I don't have a quest here that says in need of a tanning station. But that could be because we just haven't come across it yet. I don't know. Anyway... Let's go ahead and go here, and then we'll move south. Okay. Let's get buffed up. Nice improvement on the glider. Can definitely tell the difference there. Oh, you know what? We have a. I think we have some points that I forgot to do. Suck it, rats. There might be a chest up there, but no, let's just keep moving. I don't want to get too sidetracked. I'm all too good at getting sidetracked. Yeah, we've got three points to spend. You know, I was looking at the trickster tree, and there's actually some good stuff. You know, like terror on a critical hit with a spell, the target will be stunned for four seconds. You will gain one spirit for every two levels of flame. That's some pretty good shit. We should be working towards that, too. The question is, do I want to work towards that first, or do I want to keep working on battle mage? Damaging enemies with wands has a 24% chance to recover 2% mana. Sting. Yeah, see, this is just going to beef up our wand really good. Uh, so, yeah, let's just stick to, to the Battle Mage tree for now. And then we'll... Uh, then we'll probably turn our attention towards Trickster. At some time, I would still like to get to Dessert Stomach. I don't know if we'll have enough points to do all that before it's all said and done, but we'll see. We'll give it the good old college try. Um, all right, so do we have to first go into the uh, Raven's Keep. Oh, uh, you know what I think I might have done? Did I skip a step in the tanning station? I think I did, because I think we were supposed to go through Raven's Keep first. Um, is there a boss in there? I don't... I think there might be a boss in the courtyard. I don't remember. I think... Even if that is the case, I think I still want to push on and get the almanac. Because that's going to get us the better food. We might come back and do Raven's Keep another, an, at another time. Um, or maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of the haunch meat. The wild game stuff. So I'm not going to loot those guys. I would let them live if they would let me live, but they won't, so they gotta die.
Vuka, on the other hand, they have to die. You got him? I think so. Because Vuka have good stuff. Like raw bird meat. Okay, let's keep cruising. Cruising on down the road here. Gonna get getting close. And the sage. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at. We're actually a little too far south now. Um we could go. No, no, let's stay on task. Let's not get sidetracked. I'm not going to loot that salt. Let's switch to Ice Bolt because these are going to be scavenger battles. in front of him there. There we go. Uh, is there anything under this bridge? I don't... I don't remember if there is. This bridge is a long way down. Should be using my ice wand on you. There's a platform down there. Hmm. Not seeing anything. a lot of stuff in one chest. All right. So there's two main things to get here. Um, there's a... Oh, my God. Okay, time to go. Oh, this might be a good time for acid bite. Oh, he just walked into it and it killed him. All right, let's go back to Ice Bolt. Uh, the two things to get are, of course, the almanac, and then there's also a building block in this town. And I'm sure there's a few chests and things like that, too, but... All good? Yeah. Alright. Let's do that because we can. scrap metal at least and there's something over here pause the screen to read 
Rumors of the Dragon Cave. They must be talking about a different dragon than the Fell Wisp Wyvern. I don't remember anything about that in Season 1, so I wonder if that's new to the update or if it's always been around. And I just missed it. Hey, a greenie. Well, that kind of hurt us, too. <laughs> we were just a wee little bit too close. We need to redo this. And uh, let's just pop a bandage to top off. Okay. I spoke. Let's continue. Continue on here. There's some lore here. No one can fool me. Come at me, bros. With your slow, slow movement speed. Missed. <laughs> I so love that sound effect. Hey, what the hell is this? A rat ass. And a rat head. Can't get him. Okay, I'll take that stuff. I need to find the eternal heal spell. It's taking a long time for that shit to heal us these days. Um, I hear an enemy. Oh, there he is. I know I'm skipping some stuff in the town there, but I'm not too worried about it, actually. Pause the screen to read. There's a boat there. This is the arena, right? Or, or do we have to go a little further in, I think? Quite a bit further further away from it still than I thought we were. Alrighty. Here we go. Alright, let's switch to fireball for the Matron. And um we're good on our flasks. Okay, let's do this. Where does she come out at? OK. 
Okay, we better get our wand and shield out for this. Oh, shit. They broke through my wand. Or my shield, I mean. And I need to use an ice wand, too. Okay. I hear another bad guy somewhere. There's the Matron. And she's down. And we got the almanac. Beautiful. Just nuked the shit out of everything in here. <laughs> uh, some of the, I guess some of that stuff was already on the ground. I saw a lot of damage numbers, though. What have you... Is there something down here besides a bonfire? Don't know if I've ever come down here before. Hmm. Don't want to go down that way. This is cool though, man. I like this. This little overhang off into the red muckety muck. You'd think there'd be a a treasure chest or something down here. But there isn't. Alright, let's go back. We need to go get the block. So we'll do that next. Top ourselves off. Not dead yet. So I'm using the wrong wand again. I'm just so used to going to my fire wand by default. Okay, as I recall, there's a bunch of bad guys right in there. Including a greenie. Oh, he's right on us. Alright. Those guys are tough. Don't want to mess around with them. We nuked everybody else. We'll take that. What the hell, man? Total hacks.
Did they all glitch through the floor or what? Okay, let's go. Uh, like I said, there, there's a lot of just basic loot you can get by going through the town, but it takes a long time to do that. And uh, I don't feel impelled to do that. Impelled? No, compelled. Impelled. The hell am I talking about? Um, yeah, let's uh, pop a couple more of those. I might just make a whole shit ton of, of health potions and not really rely on our healing spell much anymore until we get the better one. I mean, it, it still works, which, you know, we just have to do so much of it, so it's kind of a pain. All right, so we got to get up here to this silver chest to get the block. And I think that involves going here. And then there. Limestone block. All right, cool. Is there a chest in this other tower? Don't trust this. It's too close. Oh, that killed him. Okay. Basic chest. Hardly worth the effort. Huh. All right, I think our work here is done. Let's go home and see what kind of good food Emily can make for us. Oh. Something on your mind? Yep, your almanac is returned. Wonderful. There's a bit of dirt on it, but it's fine. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Let's get to planting. Dirt is a farmer's All right. So we will set this right up here for her. And now, smoky and sweet. Beehive smoker. Okay, yep. We'll, we'll go after that later. Okay, let's see what we can make now. We can make chicken soup. Um, for four constitution, and I think what we're using, and, and dexterity, not that we care about that, we've been using grilled meat for three constitution. Okay, so that's a nice little upgrade for health. Uh, we can make brown sugar, or just sugar, for a 20% stamina recharge for five minutes instead of 15 for three minutes. Um, yeah, that's going to be useful, especially for, for like mining, you know, just to sustain our, our, um, our stamina. So that's going to come in handy for sure. And then, uh, yeah, well, that's completely useless to us, which is why, again, the bell peppers, that's why I haven't really been grabbing them because they just don't do that much for us. Endurance, um, the Rui Boss tea. 
would be really good for stamina. But the problem with that is I don't think I want to give up. Th this would be good if we had the fourth stomach slot. But we need to focus on intelligence. So we'll, now we'll get a plus four intelligence with the mushroom omelet. And, oh, we got to get her the oven, though. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm trying to remember where we get that. I think we get that all the way over by the sun temple. Um, yeah, I was really kind of looking forward to this one because this is like our main pew pew food. Well, we could try and get over there. I'm, I think the Sickle Scythe boss in the Sun Temple might be a bit much for us at this point. Maybe not. We might be able to handle it. Um, and she doesn't have anything for, for spirit. Which is odd. So I guess we'll have to keep making um, or, or just eating sage straight up for spirit. Okay. But the chicken soup, good stuff. So we're, we're going to... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I take that back. We need pepper for chicken soup. I just totally missed that. Okay, so we are going to need to go pick a bunch of bell pepper. Um, all right, so we got that. And this lasts for 40 minutes, too. We'll make this for mostly for mining. We don't care about dexterity. Um, this would be good, except for, again, I don't want to give up health, intelligence, and spirit for it. So we won't be making that. And this we can't make until we, we go get her oven. Oh, man. Okay. Does, um... She gave us the beehive smoker. We can learn a new block at Emily Frey's Tavern, which is where I think we need to go to get the oven, if I recall correctly. Um, but she hasn't given us... She haven't, hasn't given us the recipe for that. But I think we could still get it anyways. And, you know, even if we don't... I'm sorry, not the recipe, the quest. Even if we don't have the quest. I think. I hope. But, anyway. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go here. Thank you. Oh, you, gotta, you want to talk to me. What do you want? A laboratory. Okay, so now we have to go after your scientific instruments. That's something we should prioritize, too. Because once we get the laboratory, then we're going to get the high-end magic stuff. What do you want? Uh, you want the loom. Okay. I think the loom... Yeah, we got to go to East Lapis for that. That's going to be dangerous. Um, and fun. Okay, I'm waiting for him to be able to make the giant chest for us before we get serious about our inventory. Because I don't want to make a bunch of large chests, turn them into magic chests, and then still replace them with giant chests anyway. So we're going to just kind of keep getting by with our medium chests until that time comes. You don't have anything new for us right now either, do you? Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.